Hey guys, Chris here, aka Brickin' It, and welcome back to another LEGO review. And this is going to be actually another LEGO Marvel review, which, like I said, I didn't do much of these. If you haven't seen yesterday's review, I actually reviewed the new Infinity Gauntlet, which, if you saw that video, you saw, I talk about how amazing I think the set is, and it really, really is good. So, why is the title of this video called, Are LEGO Getting Lazy, especially with the helmet collection? And that is because of these two bad boys here. We've got, obviously, Venom, which is the black one, and Carnage, which is the red one. Now... Originally when I saw the Carnage helmet, I was like, oh, I'm not too sure on that one. And it is an exclusive to Zavi in the UK. However, I was like, I actually messaged Zavi and asked them if they would send me one to review, which they really kindly did. So thank you very much, Zavi, for sending me this. However, the review and thoughts on these sets are my own. Now, I managed to pick up the Venom one for £45 on Amazon when it had only just come out, which was really, really good. But obviously, this one being exclusive, it's going to be a lot harder to get at lower prices. But if you do want to support the channel, then go down to the link in the description where I do have an affiliate link with Zavi. And you can also get this with a t-shirt as well, which is pretty cool. But anyways, on to the review of why I think that maybe they're being a little bit lazy, but I don't think they actually are. So like I said, originally I did think, are they being lazy with the fact that, I mean, if you look at these two sets, they look exactly the same. And actually, if you even look at the box arts, I mean, there's not much difference really. I mean, they, they even look the same on the box. Even the artworks on the back of the boxes, they have the comic books and the fact that they, they kind of look similar. But that is actually because these guys are pretty similar in the Marvel Universe. And what I mean by that is, is they're both symbiotes. So if you guys remember like Spider-Man 3, the old Sam Raimi ones, he was a symbiote Spider-Man. So when Spider-Man gets the symbiote as well, he actually becomes black and it, it has super awesome powers. And that's pretty much the same as Carnage. But the thing is that we haven't actually had Carnage's origin story really in film before. And these were really probably made for the Venom 2 movie which is coming out soon and we just saw the trailer drop for that and that made me want to pick up this set as soon as I saw it. It's like, oh wow, we see Carnage. It looks awesome. And I think that's the problem with this set, the fact that a lot of people don't really know too much about the set. People were kind of a bit surprised that we were getting Carnage and maybe we should have got Spider-Man instead, but obviously Venom is a cult classic, so people like Venom. But other than that, what do I actually think of the set? Well, like I said, they are pretty much identical to each other obviously other than the color changes so the two main differences on the two sets are the fact that the venom one here has the tongue that sticks out and there's a little clip at the back and he also has a little bit of yellow goop that comes down as well whereas carnage doesn't have the um the, the tongue obviously it's a different coloration and he has a sticker sheet as well with some stickers on the front which you can see right here the stickers are actually not too bad at all. When I saw this, I thought, oh no, there's so many stickers, but they're not clear stickers. They're actually stickers with red on, which is actually pretty decent and it doesn't make it too hard to do at all. So with the set, there are 11 stickers in total, but like I said, they are pretty big and they're pretty easy to apply. And it doesn't matter if you mess them up a little bit either because they're pretty straightforward to do because they're all on the kind of two by four tile. So that's not really a big issue. The hardest ones maybe with the eyebrow ones because they're a little bit harder to get on these rounded tiles. But other than that, like I said, they are pretty much identical but they still do both look cool. So I kind of see where Lego were coming from. Like I said, originally I was thinking, are they lazy? But if you look at the Boba Fett helmet, for instance, if we were gonna get a Mandalorian one, which everyone seems to want, it would pretty much just be a recolor of the same helmet without the uh, viewfinder coming down as well. So I'd really actually like to know your thoughts on that. Would you want a Mandalorian helmet if we could get one? Because that's kind of, I think, the same. If people think that they want a Mando helmet, then there's no real reason why these two shouldn't be available either. But anyways, that's my kind of quick view on the Carnage helmet. Are you guys gonna be getting this one or do you already have it? Like I said, it took me a little while to think about getting this one, but I am really glad that I've got it in the collection now. And actually, and I think with other Marvel stuff coming out, like the Infinity Goal, and obviously this guy isn't in the MCU, but it's still pretty cool to get other Marvel stuff. I do think we'll be getting more and more of these going forward. So this one could be one that becomes a little bit more desirable later on. But anyways, that's just a quick review of this helmet. If you wanna see any of the other reviews, such as like maybe the Gauntlet one, I'll put a tab up here as well. But anyways, that's it for now. Ciao.